Chapter 3 The Jumano Tribe Native Americans who lived in the Puebloan region adapted to the land. When they settled in, they realized it was very dry, there were no trees, and they only had the river. So they learned how to make their homes from adobe, which is mud made from a special dirt near the river. The Jumano Native Americans were farmers much like the Caros. However, the Jumanos lived in the southwestern part of Texas, near the Rio Grande River. The Jumanos were called the Pueblo Indians. Pueblo is the Spanish word for village. When the Spanish explored this area, they found many villages with homes made from adobe. The Spanish then named all of the natives who lived in these villages Pueblo Indians. Adobe is mud made from grass, dirt, and water. When adobe dries, it becomes very hard. Since adobe is so strong and hard, Pueblo Native Americans would use it to build their homes. The Jumano tribe depended heavily on the rivers and streams for watering their crops. Both men and women farmed. They grew beans, squash, corn, and cotton. The Jumanos traded their crops with other Texan tribes. They traded for things they could not easily get, like buffalo hides, meat, shells, and cloth. Because they lived so far from the other tribes, the Jumanu men had to walk far distances to trade for items they couldn't make. So the Jumanos trained dogs to pull a travois to help them carry their hides and other items for trading. A travois is a type of sled made by joining sticks together. The Jumanos had one main leader, a chief, who ruled the tribe. Some tribes also had a war chief. These chiefs conducted all the ceremonies. And the Jumanos had many, many ceremonies for their crops to make sure they had a good season, ceremonies to bring rain, and more ceremonies when it came time to harvest. The Jumanos were known to be a friendly tribe. They welcomed others into their village, 
and even helped strangers who were lost to find their way back home.